Orioles hosting the Rays, and the Rays are minus 124 on the money line. The Orioles are plus 106. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The Rays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 134, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. And the Orioles getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 162, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one run. You would win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have not done so yet, please go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the $14.99 membership. When you join that membership in your email, you will get a link to the Discord. It will have my best picks when it's sports like baseball, basketball, and hockey. It'll be every day when it's the weekly sports. You'll see stuff in the little channels for the weekly stuff. Now, Eflin pitched twice against the Orioles this year. Six innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 4-2 to two in Baltimore, and he struck out four. And then seven shutout innings. They won that game 3 nothing. He struck out eight. That was in Tampa. They are 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched. And 6.4 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 1.8. And over his last three starts against the Orioles, one of them uh, happened with the Phillies, uh, six and a third, 5.3 hits, 2.7 earned runs, 7.3 strikeouts, one walk, one home run, and 86 pitches on average in those three starts. And the under hit in every one of those games. In his last five, the over has hit in his last two, and the over is four and one in his last five. So interesting to see. For Flaherty, he didn't pitch against the Rays either last year or this year. They're two and three in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 4.2. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 4.8 strikeouts per game in those games. The over is hitting his last two, and the over is 4-1 and one in his last five. Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The Orioles is 6-4. and four. The underdog is on a three-game winning streak. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under has hit in their last two. The under is 7-3. and three. And the under eight and a half runs is also seven and three. And there have been two one run games in their last three meetings against each other and three in their last five. The game they played tonight was a one run game. The Rays are eight and two in their last 10 games. They are four, six and one in their last seven. And the over is six and four in their last seven games. So the Orioles, they're six and four in their last 10. They're on a three game slump. And the over is 6-3-1. and one. The under has hit in their last three games. Now, I know for whatever the reason is, this should seem like it's a slam dunk in favor of the Rays. But the underdogs do incredibly well. And Eflin is just one of these guys, especially for the Rays, that's been hit or miss with me. And I'm going to take a chance here with the Orioles as a home underdog. Both of these teams need these, need these games because, you know, they're fighting for the division not to play in the wild card. So I'm going to take the Orioles with the money line. I'm going to take the Orioles getting the runs, and I'm going under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.